bought the farm in 2000 because it was such a seemed such a good place to garden and enter a friend who had Icelandic horses and needed a place to put them. Fast forward, I, it, it has totally taken over my life. And I decided, yes, that's, this is good. I want to do this. So now it's become a, a day-to-day business, basically. We're sitting on 105 acres. Uh, we've got about 40 acres of pasture and it's been a WAC participant for six to seven years now. And we've done a lot of work out here and she's done a great job managing it. They made it very easy and always catered to my needs, so couldn't be much better. Helene had a lot of uh, issues with uh, water coming into the barn specifically. With this hillside coming down, steep slopes, and the amount of water courses that we have up top, especially during the winter time into the spring months, be a real issue not only for her, but then from a water quality perspective. She would pile manure off the backside of the barnyard because that was the best spot to put it for her. All that water that wanted to go through the barn was also going out around the barn and through those manure piles because that water goes directly into dry brook that runs all the way down to the Delaware. And of course the pastures here did not have water. You put in the troughs, the hydrants, all gravity run, and that's been fantastic. And then creating these paddocks was kind of another primary role to really divide up the grazing management here so that she can rotate animals around. That helps your bottom line yes. and uh, also helps water quality at the same time. We had fencing, but uh, the horses would get out. It's fantastic to have fences that keep everybody in. I mean, this is actually set up as a winter water system so that this is a reliable source for them during the winter time that doesn't freeze. You leave it on in the winter, so it's continuous flow, right. which is wonderful. And that's why it doesn't freeze. Yep. And that's worked pretty well. Here we are on the back side of the barn. We've got the stone trench running the whole length. It's a lot of snow load that came off during the winter time. This would pile up. Also during the springtime, a lot of runoff coming straight down towards the barn. So this would pretty much all be running straight into the stalls and then even into the arena and then out the back side and into the water courses. There's about three to four foot of uh, gravel and then there's a perforated uh, line underneath. And then there's also a liner that runs this uh, on the other side of this siding. It seems to have pretty much solved yes. the issue. Yes, totally. Stall, waste from inside the arena, and then the other areas around the farm used to be piled here. This used to just be wide open. And then the back side of the barn, there would be a whole bunch of water that would flow right through here and right through that same manure pile. In order to solve that issue, we had to put a roof over top of it. And that provides Helene with a nice area to pile manure and then also have it exported from the farm. And now it's nice and clean and manageable. At the spring development system at the top of the farm. So this water that you hear coming into the tank is uh, from the pond above us. I mean, this is the main source for all the hydrants so that she can maneuver the water around and graze the paddocks efficiently and also keeping the horses out of the main water courses which is the primary goal of having this kind of system. It's been really wonderful to, to get all this free stuff cater to my needs and working with this great group of people. So I've been, I feel very fortunate really. Mm -hmm.